Today we're doing a test flight with our new GoPro Max 360 cameras. In this video, we're going to take the fun places to fly Sky Chicken up to show what's possible with the GoPro Max camera. Like its earlier models, it still has the hyper smooth image stabilization we've come to appreciate, plus beautiful vivid color. After some in hangar test shots, we decided to mount the cameras on two of the tie down rings using My Pilot Pro swivel camera mounts. Each camera has additional safety wire to make sure they don't come off. Be sure and stick around. At the end of this video, we'll do a simplified demonstration of the GoPro player for desktops. Not only to view the footage, but to create clips for placement in YouTube and Vimeo videos. The GoPro Max 360 records video in every direction, forward, backward, up, down, and side to side. Its two lenses capture everything. When watching one of our 360 videos, people often ask, does this camera rotate on its mount? Is it uh, remote control? The answer is definitely no. The GoPro Max shoots a single video clip. The magic of movement is accomplished in post by means of a special software called GoPro Player. There's a link in the comments section of this video where you can download it for free. Now to create a video from a flight with the GoPro Max 360 camera. Here I've copied all the files from the SD card into a single folder on my computer. Double click on one of the .360 files. The GoPro Player software will automatically open, but it takes a while. The first thing to do is to click on the circle icon with the dot to open up the video editing bar at the bottom of the screen. 
After opening the clip, you can experiment by moving the scene around with your mouse. Moving the mouse up and down changes the horizontal view. Moving the mouse left and right rotates the view. Rolling the mouse wheel makes the video zoom in and out. To start, I'm going to create some keyframes. Keyframes are basically markers in the clip that control the position of a particular spot in the video. When a keyframe is placed, I'll adjust the position of the video, left or right, up or down, and then click on the plus button to save that position. Now I'll start the video to put in some keyframes. Now that the keyframes are in there, I can go back and uh, move things around. Let's see what that looks like. Too bad. Now we'll go back to make things look a little more presentable. Click on the first keyframe and it doesn't look too bad but I can straighten that up a little bit and then go over to this control here which is rotate and I can rotate it and nice and neat. Turn that off. Go to the next one and that looks pretty good too. I'm going to raise it up just a hair Change the rotation. Go to the next one. Change the horizontal view and the rotation. Next clip. Change the rotation horizontal view and that should be it. Let's take a look. Not bad. So now we want to do one more keyframe. And set it to the front of the airplane. Kind of a drastic move. Get it all nice and square and rotate. Looks good. So now we'll move the scroll bar a little bit to the right and you'll see something appear. This is a transition. We want to do ease both and apply it to all, which will make it uh, do a smooth transition to all clips. 
let's take a look. Transitions are nice and smooth, not jerky at all. And this is the one I wanted to see. Nice smooth transition to the front of the airplane. Very nice. And now we're ready to export our video. We click on the export button. Next. Give it a name. And save it. This is a regular MP4 video and can be pulled in to any kind of software. We use Adobe Premiere Elements to do our final takes and creations. And uh, there's a link in the comment section where you can get a copy of that software. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it. Be sure and subscribe. Thank you.